Ahoy Bashikni, it's Jen from Dream Prague giving you an American's perspective on life in Prague, Czechia. Did you know that it rains on average 22.7 inches annually in Prague? Yeah, they didn't tell that to this California girl before she packed her bags. Oh, and the rainiest month is July. What kind of an upside down world are we living in, people? Look, I come from Southern California, the land of no weather. It's either so hot that the kids are kept inside during recess for health reasons, or it's just plain hot. My point is, if you move to the Czech Republic, it's a good idea to brush up on your weather idioms because they talk about weather here a lot. Because they have a lot of weather here. And of course, they use the weather to add color to expressions and idioms about other things in life. So in this video, we'll dive into some fun Czech idioms having to do with the weather. And if you're Czech and have any good ones to add, please add them in the comments below for my viewers learning Czech. I hope if you're learning Czech, one of the idioms we'll learn today will help you impress a Czech girlfriend or boyfriend or make your Czech colleague laugh. But the best way to learn conversational Czech or English or Chinese is to speak with native speakers just like I do every week on italki. Talking with native speakers is the fastest way to fluency. Did you know that 19 hours on italki is equivalent to a semester of language course in a university? And I don't just learn the nuts and bolts of the Czech language. My teachers on italki are always teaching me new idiomatic phrases like you'll hear in this video, or ways that a real Czech would say something so I don't sound like a textbook. The best part about italki is that it works with my busy schedule. When I see some extra time on my calendar, I can easily fill it with a one-on-one -on -one lesson with one of my favorite italki teachers. Italki teachers set their own rates, so you can find one that suits your budget. I love experimenting with different teachers, and since they tailor the lessons to my needs, I request lessons about Czech movies, or Czech holidays, or Czech customs. And so I'm learning so much more than just the Czech language and idioms. I'm learning about Czech culture too. When you refer a friend and they take their first lesson, you earn 10 euros towards your language lessons. If you want to take your foreign language to the next level, check out italki. I'll leave the link in the description box below. When you give italki a try, you help me support this channel so I can keep bringing you more funny Czech idioms. So thank you. When you return to your cozy hata after walking through the blustery snow to get some firewood, you can tell your family, Je venku pořádný samets. Je venku pořádný samets. Literally, it's a real mail outside. Figuratively, the weather has strong masculine characteristics. It's not tiptoeing around in ballet slippers. It's a real man out there. Not one that sips sherry by the fire, but one that drinks Slivovitsa in the forest with wolves. Mato Gole. Okay, here I'm being a little bit experimental, which you have to be when learning a new language. First of all, my apologies in advance. Sometimes when you're learning a new language, you hear a phrase and you don't know what degree of vulgarity it is, and then you say it on YouTube in front of tens of thousands of people, and they tell you in the comments. Don't say that out loud. Okay, so I was once having beers with a male student of mine, he was in his mid-30s, um, and he said to me, I'll be right back. I have to go number one. This is an accurate idiom for what he was leaving the table to do, just not an idiom that a grown man would say. It means I have to urinate, but it's usually what children say. But he was experimenting with language, and as his teacher, that made me really happy. And secondly, I don't know if I can use mato kole in this example about weather. So mato kole means he has balls. To say something has balls in English, it usually means that they're being brave. Um, but it's a bit vulgar. I wouldn't say it to your grandmother. In Czech, the meaning is the same, that he or she, if onama kole, is courageous or bold. But I have 
I've heard it said about food too, like we might say something has kick, like maybe, oh, that salsa has kick. Mata salsa cole. Mosha. Um, or like maybe your friend makes you a special Christmas cocktail and you try it and it has more alcohol than you were expecting and you'd say, woo, mato cole, like it has kick. So it seems to me that if we can call very harsh winter weather a real male, we can also say it has balls? I don't know, maybe. Let me know in the comments below if I can use mato cole about a real hearty male winter day. When the weather is total crap, not fit for man nor beast, you can call it psipochasi, literally dog weather, which is defined as weather so bad you wouldn't drive a dog into it. First of all, the Czechs love dogs. Who are these Czechs driving their dogs outside into even remotely bad weather? So it's freezing, you're miserable. Why do you have to bring man's best friend into it? Here's a slightly modified version, maybe a little bit more apt. To je počasí, že by člověk ven ani komunistu nevyhnal. Nevyhnal. Meaning, the weather is such that you wouldn't even kick a communist out. Knowing how most Czechs feel about communists, that sounds like some pretty crap weather. If someone is depressed or has low energy, you could say they were jako přešli mrazem, or literally, as if passed over by frost, or frostbitten. Think almost of a fruit or a flower that's past the point of freezing, like the life has gone from it. It's explained as someone who is low energy, physically or mentally depressed. In English, we have similar sayings, for example, she's as cold as ice, but the meaning is slightly different. It means she's really unaffectionate. You could also say, oof, she gave you a chilly look, meaning an unfriendly or unaffectionate expression. One thing I've sadly noticed since arriving in Prague in 2012 is that it just doesn't snow here like it used to. I may hate the cold weather, but if there's one thing that can put a smile on my face in winter, it's when Prague is layered in a blanket of white. So the perfect phrase for this is Gde ti lonski snehi sol. It actually derives from a French poem and literally means where are last year's snows. Figuratively, it means the past is no longer. I've seen these awesome photos from the old days with Czechs actually ice skating in Prague on the Vltava, which never freezes over in Prague anymore. Um, could never happen in today's climate. And every time I see one of those photos, I think, ah, oh, gde ti lonski snehi so. So you can use this when you are longing for the charms of the past that will never be again. We have this kind of dad joke in English. They say, dads usually say, when I was your age, I walked to school uphill in a foot of snow. The idea is that life was a lot harder for previous generations or at least older generations always think they had it harder than today's kids have it. Which, if you're Czech, is most likely to be true. Be kind to your grandparents, kids. They were a lot tougher at your age than you are now. So if you wanna encourage someone to buck up and not succumb to the trials and tribulations of life, you might say, mraz ko privu ne spali, meaning frost doesn't burn the nettles. First of all, is this true? I'm not really familiar with nettles. Although I had some nice nettle beer once. People have rescued them, very tasty. Here I think nespali, burn, can also mean freezer burn since we're talking about frost. So the meaning, the figurative meaning is that a person with strong character, a nettle, doesn't get burned just because of a little frost. A strong person can withstand anything. A sort of similar proverb from American English might be, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Um, but yeah, frost doesn't burn the nettles. And since last year's snows are gone, what do we get more of in Prague? 
rain. Don't worry, Czech idioms have got you covered. In California, in July, you're unlikely to see a drop of rain the entire month. But if you've ever been in Prague in July, out of nowhere, in the middle of very hot weather, the sky will just open up and people have to run and take cover in like stores and in doorways or in passages. And they're pretty much stuck until the downpour passes. In English, we might say it's raining cats and dogs, where in the Czech lands, the pets usually stay in their comfortable homes. And instead, padají trakáže, or wheelbarrows are, wheelbarrows, that's actually a hard word to say, wheelbarrows are falling from the sky. The English also say it's pissing rain. So when it's pouring and pouring and won't stop, a Czech might say which is not easy to say. Literally, it's pissing and pissing, which doesn't need much explanation. When I first moved to Wienerhady, my neighborhood in Prague, in the middle of one of the coldest winters on record, I could hardly find any cozy coffee shops to sit in and plan my lessons or just read a book. And now these cafes are everywhere. You could even say that cafes in Vinohrady rosto nam tak jako hobi po dješti. That is, they're growing on us like mushrooms after the rain. It means they're everywhere. Pretty much every corner you turn down in Vinohrady, there's a coffee shop. And they are especially charming at this time of year to cozy up and read a book in. Let's say you're at your company Christmas party and your very unappealing colleague with the overinflated ego asks you to get a drink with him after the party. You could say, Aż na prši a usne. Us usne. Aż na prši a usne. Which literally means when it rains and dries. Does that mean you'd be happy to go out with him once the weather gets better? No, it means when hell freezes over or when pigs fly. I'm a little disappointed in aż na prši a usne. It doesn't quite have the balls, so to speak, of the English idioms with the same meaning. And you want to be emphatic when you're turning this guy down. You don't want him having any hope for a date when the rain finally dries in the spring. Fortunately, you can also say na svati ho dindi, which means on the day of Saint Dindi, which will never actually happen because Saint Dindi never existed. After the office party, your unappealing colleague offers to drive you home. And trying to avoid his offer, you jump into some unknown handsome stranger's car who claims to be heading in your direction. Hopefully, you haven't gone zdjeście pod okap. Zdjeście pod okap. Or from the rain to beneath the gutter. This means when you're trying to escape one difficult situation and you land in a worse one. In English, we say from the frying pan into the fire. That's all today, friends. If you're Czech and you have any more good weather idioms to add, please do so in the comments below so the rest of us learning Czech can learn from you. Uvidíme se příště. Ahoj!